Two short weeks ago, I color analyzed my personal trainer, Ryan Livingston. And if you missed that video, you can go seven videos before this one on my page to see the full video posted around his color analysis. And I have major updates on what has happened since his color analysis that are so fun. And stay tuned to the back end of this video where I'm gonna share also some additional announcements that are quite fun as well. I see Ryan three times a week at Genuine Fitness in Stratford, Ontario, Canada. I have the option to see him in person or do the training sessions virtually, but because we're both in Stratford at this moment, I go to Genuine Fitness in person. And during our training sessions, he has updated me significantly on what has transpired after receiving his true summer color analysis result. And I thought it would be so fun to share with you and he's given me permission to share everything in this video with you so I'm not violating anyone's privacy. Immediately after receiving his true summer result which included fabric swatches I gave him to take along with his color analysis implementation journey, he that weekend uh, really put a great deal of thought around assembling an outfit based on his true summer colors as he and his family went to the Stratford Festival, which is an extremely popular festival in the town I live in. It's a theater festival visited by people throughout the world. And so he uh, went to this festival in true summer colors, head to toe, and at least one stranger came up to him, which he had never experienced before, and complimented him on his outfit and thought he looked really vibrant. And then following that, he uh, decided as well, out of his color analysis consultation, that he always disliked his gold wedding band. He had chosen it just based on what his father had done with his wedding band personally, and always for years had hated the gold wedding band. I just first wanna say, I don't typically advise people go and replace or adjust family heirlooms based on a color analysis result, but he felt really strongly like he wanted to do that because he had always disliked the gold. He decided to get his wedding band replated to the summer metallic which is an antique or smoky silver coloring or a white gold and uh to do that, he had to hand over his wedding band for a couple days. And uh, when that happened, uh, and he was continuing over those days to really focus on uh, implementing his colors in his wardrobe choices, uh, when his wedding band was off, he was approached by multiple women out and about. Let's just say it was more in a romantic way that he was approached. And again, this really hasn't happened to him in years. Uh, this person, by the way, Ryan, is a happily married man with two beautiful children. So not to be approached in any romantic way, in my opinion, but the him not wearing the wedding band obviously caused some confusion around that. Friends and family have been really commenting about his glow. And during this time as well, and this hasn't happened for years, he was also asked for ID when purchasing alcohol for a party he was having amongst friends. So I want to just be clear here, Ryan, typically doesn't drink anything because he's right now training for Iron Man and he's very health and nutrition conscious. Here's a picture of him in a top he chose to wear the other day that had been sitting in his closet for years and it's on the way to the True Summer Color Analysis palette family and when he was out and about wearing this top he was stopped four times by people just saying how much they loved this color and top on him. I find what Ryan's going through is quite common by people who have received uh, their color analysis results. It's like people are attracted to you more, both 
professionally, romantically or not. And, and just, it's generally just people are drawn to you because of your powerful presence and colors being in harmony with you. Ryan's having so much fun implementing his color analysis result. Yay, true summer for Ryan. Moving on to other updates, uh, in-person color analysis in Toronto, Canada. The uh, service offering on my website has openings right now for July and August 2024. Stay tuned for more openings that are happening for uh, post-August that will be up shortly due to an explosion of uh, color analysis clients that flooded in to receive color analysis results from me uh, a couple months ago. Uh, I made the decision to change our uh, turnaround time for sending out results at that time to 50 business days. And uh, we're working uh, through the last uh, bit of uh, volume on the backlog and do expect in the next couple of weeks for our turnaround time and or my turnaround time on color analysis results to be brought down back down to 25 business days. So uh, good news on that front. Last thing I just wanted to share with you is uh, that my uh, business ha is now authorization uh, to uh, conduct work uh, in the U.S. with uh, U.S. Uh, clients. I've been previously turning down uh, offers uh, with retail chains or uh, what have you uh, because of uh, my status being I'm a Canadian citizen and I didn't have work status uh, for my business in uh, the U.S. So the good news is that I now uh, can accept uh, 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 contracts uh, that require me to be in person in the U.S. So uh, TV shows, uh, retail chains, what have you, call me. I would love uh, to have my own uh, makeover show or uh, participate in makeover programming. That's actually one of my uh, law of attraction uh, things that I'm trying to manifest. I would love to have like Netflix show or something like that where we do uh, makeovers based on color analysis. Netflix, call me. I've also had several requests from uh, clients around the globe uh, for me to appear at, say, uh, color analysis group events uh, where I cuddle or analyze multiple people and um, I have a video up somewhere uh, where I talk about the risk about doing mini color analysis sessions. I don't typically uh, do those uh, because it can give people inaccurate information because you're rushing uh, the color analysis process and skipping steps and skipping uh, the full set of colors uh, comparing and what have you. So just be aware I typically don't do uh, group like 15 minute sessions uh, uh, for mini color analysis, but I will do an hour uh, per person. So uh, call me if you're interested uh, in uh, having some sort of a group event where I would appear. My virtual color analysis practice though keeps me uh, quite busy, more than full time, so it, it really would have to be an event that I'm called to do, meaning inspired to do, uh, and aligned to where I want to go, i.e. TV shows, uh, you know, working with retail chains, etc. So uh, it is Saturday today, and so yay Saturday!